It's no secret that many of us dig for samples through YouTube, which then goes through some sort of YouTube to MP3 converter website. If you're having trouble with those sites like me, here's a solution. What's up guys, Barry here, and if it's your first time to the channel, we talk about beat making and music production within the machine. So if that's your thing, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. With that said, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I connect my computer to machine using a virtual cable called Loopback. Getting started with Loopback is super simple. You'll start by adding a new virtual device. You can name the device whatever you'd like. For this example, I'll name it Internal Sampling. On the main interface, you can remove the pass-through module leaving you with channel 1 and 2 down the middle. Doing so gives you a blank slate to start adding items under the source and monitor columns. So let's start by adding our sources. And it's worth noting that the application needs to be open in order for it to appear within your option menu. And just ask yourself if you want to hear it or require a signal that that application belongs under the source column. So for this example, we'll be sampling off YouTube. So Safari needs to be there but you can also add applications like Spotify and even Apple Music. From there, you'll want to set up your monitoring. So I'm currently using headphones plugged into my laptop, so I'm going to select external headphones. And so I have the option to monitor through my speakers. I'm also going to select my audio interface. And that's pretty much all the setup needed within Loopback. Let's just play something through Apple Music to make sure everything's connected correctly. Now that we have Loopback set up, let's jump into Machine and go through these last few steps. To connect Loopback with Machine, you'll first need to open up your preference settings, followed by the Audio tab. From there, you'll want to select VB Cable for your device. Simply selecting Internal Sampling will only allow for Machine to hear the signal. Selecting your audio interface, Machine won't hear the signal. So selecting VB Cable connects everything together. Now, you're finally ready to record and sample any of the sources you set within Loopback. Simply enter the sample editor within the machine software, select your recording mode. Personally, I like to use detect mode, hit start on the machine, play your sample, and stop once you're done recording your source. From there, it's all up to you what you do with the sample. And for organization's sake, the recordings generally go into the recording folder within the machine folder that lives inside the native instruments folder. The reason I haven't used loopback isn't mainly for sampling, but more so for content creation. It allows me to connect machines audio to OBS, which then allows me to make these tutorials and videos. Connecting loopback to OBS is once again a simple process. Start by right-clicking the source section, hover over to add, and select audio input capture. You can name the source whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it internal sampling once again. And similar to within machine, for device, I'm going to select VB cable. And now the audio coming out of machine is connected to OBS, allowing you to capture your screen and audio simultaneously. I do understand that something like Loopback isn't the most affordable thing, but if I were to consider it a plugin, it's my most used plugin since I've gotten it. With that said, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and happy beat making. Peace.